are struggling with the cost of child care. The average cost of quality child care in America is about $800 a month for one child. For middle class families with one child or more, they spend more than the average rent or mortgage on child care. What programs at the federal level would you suggest be implemented to help with this issue? Two minutes. Mr. Rod? Yes. Uh, well, back in the Clinton administration, something was uh, proposed that, that really we should have taken a harder look at it and we should take a look at it again. And that, and that is tax credits uh, that would go through uh, child care. Um, that is uh, investments uh, that would be matched by uh, large employers, that that would be a benefit that should be part of uh, health care benefits, uh, should be chipped into that, um, and that uh, people should chip into it for themselves. So that it would be a partnership between government, the person that's purchasing the, the service, and the employer themselves. So uh, with, with this kind of a, a partnership, uh, it would be more affordable for uh, the overwhelming um, majority of, of the people that are struggling with, uh, with child care. All right, um, Molly Sheehan, one minute. So I talked about this a little bit in my last answer, so I'll go further. Um, but we're also shackled to a 40-hour work week, where parents also aren't spending enough time with their children. We don't have enough time in our communities. I see my husband come home after 60-hour weeks all the time. So sad that he didn't get to tuck our daughter in at night when he comes home at 9 p.m. And a lot of this is because our benefits are tied to our employer. Part of the way we can relieve childcare expenses for people and give people more flexibility to be entrepreneurs, to work less, to change their hours, is to give people single payer health care to make sure that we don't have to work 40 hours a week in order to get health care benefits. It'll also open jobs up for other people. It'll really create a liberty in our economy that we don't have now by decoupling this health care benefit from our uh, employment. Um, and like Larry said, like I said earlier, we also need tax credits to make sure that we really can have fully funded daycare centers that parents can afford where the workers are paid appropriately. All right, Ashley Lunkenheimer, one minute. Thank you. Certainly the last question does play into this because universal pre-K will provide an opportunity for parents to, to work when their children are younger and that child care is extraordinarily expensive, particularly with younger children. Um, but we also need to work to raise the minimum wage. That should be a federal priority. Uh, that would be helpful to parents trying to pay for affordable child care. We need to, uh, I agree with the other, my colleagues here, the tax credits are extraordinarily important. We need to make sure that individuals can have quality child care so that they can work to support their families. And so we need to incentivize companies to be creative about flex time. We live in a new age. Some jobs provide opportunities to flex their workers' hours so that they can work different times so that when their children are at school, they're working in other things. So we need to be thought leaders as the federal government. We need to be providers of childcare, which